hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Inkiruka and if you are new here you are welcome and thank you so so much for tuning in today and if you are a new subscriber thank you so so much for coming back and if you're a new subscriber and you've not subscribed i know you clicked on this video because you're interested on in the topic that we are about to discuss today so it means that you would come back again for another video so it means that you should subscribe to this channel so please consider subscribing to this channel and make sure you turn on the post notification to get notified each time i upload a new video like videos like this because i saw that you people like you know injection videos like this so i'm going to be pumping you with enough plenty injection videos so guys um Today, uh, we're talking about intramuscular injection size. So, to start with, what is intramuscular injection? Intramuscular injections are used to deliver drugs or vaccines into the muscle. Okay? There are other ways, there are other rules through which we can, you know, um, deliver medications into our body. Aura, we have the oral route, we have intravenously through the vein subcutaneously um, then intramuscularly and the rest of it so i'm going to be talking about the intramuscular injection size there are actually four sizes that we can give injection intramuscularly so firstly i'm going to be starting with the detoid muscle the detoid muscle or you can say the detoid muscle of the arm um, it is the muscle is located uh the shoulder the upper arm that is on the shoulder like this that is where the detoid muscle is located if you have a medication to take on the detoid muscle it is difficult for you it is not advisable for you to inject yourself you can meet a health professional or someone who has the necessary knowledge someone who has been trained to perform intramuscular injections to help you inject on the detoid muscle on the detoid muscle, you can inject vaccines and uh, other drugs that is not above one mil. You can give from 0 0.5 mils to one mil volume of injection on that muscle because the muscle doesn't really have enough muscle mass to take a high volume of medication in need. If you have up to two mils, three mils, four mils, five mils of injection to inject intramuscularly. It means you have to, you know, look for other intramuscular injection sites that can take such uh, that amount of medication that you want to inject. I hope you understand. So to locate the detoid muscle, you have to bear the landmarks in mind. There's a bony prominent here. There is that is called the acromion process. The acromion process is located somewhere here the bone is prominent so when you touch here you can feel it i'm going to place a picture by the side of this video so that you can see what i'm explaining it, okay so there is you place your hand on on this place on top of your shoulder like this you see the acromion process so when you place a finger there you place another finger on below the first finger when you place your first finger on the acromion process you place a second finger below the first finger so here is an inverted triangle like this like this there is an inverted triangle here uh, uh, actually so the injection should be given at the middle of that triangle just simply put simply put the injection should be given just here below the second finger so let me just say here just at the middle there so once you place one finger on the acromion process, second finger here, the injection should be given at the middle of where your third finger is supposed to be placed. So for example, if you are meant to place your third finger here, the injection should be given where your third finger is supposed to be placed, just at the middle there. So when I will do the practical videos, when I will post the, when I will make the practical videos, you will see how to you know go about this. You may not really understand now, you may understand. But it is good, you know, the theory aspect of the page of a, a procedure before the practical aspect. Okay, so so that is how that is 
the first injection site I'm talking about today. And the injection is usually given, intramuscular injections are usually given as an angle of 90 degrees. So you just put it right in there, aspirate, and you give. I am not again, I'm not practicalizing today, so I'm just giving you the theory aspect of this injection, um, this emptoid intramuscular injection. So that is it for intramuscular injection in the detoid. So if you have any question, you can leave it on the comment section. Have any question, any comments or whatsoever, just put it down on the comment section and I will surely reply everyone. So the second injection site I'm going to be talking about will be the vastus lateralis muscle of the thigh. As the name implies, the site is on the thigh. And so the landmark, you get the actual site for this injection, you have to divide your, the thigh into three equal parts horizontally. I'm going to place a picture, to, so do not panic. I'm going to place a picture on the screen for you to see what I'm showing, what I'm talking about. So you divide the thigh into three equal parts horizontally, and the injection will be given. So then you locate the middle aspect of those three divisions. You know, you divide it into three. So the middle aspect is where the injection is going to go in. But I'm not done yet. So, so the way you look at the middle aspect of those three parts that you've divided, the injection will go into the upper outer quadrant of that middle aspect of the thigh. You understand? The injection that you could give on the thigh, you could give um, injection up to two mils, two between two mils, one zero point five mils, one mil, two mils. Three meals can actually go into the thigh. Yeah, but when it gets up to four meals, five meals, do not go to the thigh because it doesn't really have enough muscle mass to take up to four to five meals of injections. So, guys, I already have a video on this channel um, on the on how to inject on the vastus lateralis muscle of the thigh. I have the link in the description box so you can go check it out and watch it so i'm not going to make any other video about how to inject on the vastus lateralis muscle of the thigh i'm not going to make any injection video or any practical injection video on it i already have it on my channel so if you've not watched this yet you can just check after watching this one check the description box you will see the link to that video through there you can go watch it and and that will be it the third muscle I'm talking about is the ventrogluteal muscle of the hip. The site is actually regarded as a safe site because it do not have um, large blood vessels and nerves around it. So how to locate this, the site of the ventrogluteal muscle of the hip? So the person has to lie on the side. You place the heel of your hand on the person's hip, pointing the fingers towards the head of the person. Your thumb has to be pointing towards the groin while this one points towards the ischia spine. While this finger points towards the groin, while this other finger, you know, points upwards and you can use it to feel the ischia spine. Then you make a V with these two fingers as they are pointing upwards. You make a V with, two, with these fingers, your index fingers and this other finger. Then here, the center of this V is where the injection is being given. So I hope, I know you will understand it. Whether you clean the area and inject at the angle of 90 degrees. All the intramuscular injections are given at angle of 90 degrees. That is another side, the third side that you can give, administer intramuscular injection, which is the ventricular muscle of the hip. So the last but not the least, the last and the frequently used site is actually the dosoglutal muscle of the buttocks. Though it has been said that the site is not safe because of the um, risk of injuring the sciatic nerve. So, and there are other, there are a lot of blood vessels on that particular site, because which makes it risky. But still, it has still a large muscle mass that can admit injections of, of about whether um, 0.5 mils, 1 mil, 2 mils, 3 mils, 4 mils, 5 mils, 6 mils. So, so it has a large muscle mass that can take enough 
you know, volume of injections. So to inject on the buttox, you have to be very careful. You have to in divide. It's, the person has to be lying down, lying down flat with the tummy, or the patient could stand if the patient is relaxed in, in such position. So allow the patient to, you know, to be relaxed on the position he or she chooses to stay. But I prefer the patient lying flat because it helps the muscle of the buttocks to relax, especially if the person is a skinny person. Then you divide the buttocks into four equal parts. I'm going to show you what I mean on the screen with a picture on the screen. You divide, you divide it into four equal parts and the injection will be given on the upper outer quadrant. Okay, you understand? The injection should be given at the upper outer quadrant of the gluteal, those are gluteal muscle of the buttocks. So let me repeat it again. You divide the buttocks into four equal parts. The out, upper, outer. So when you divide it into four equal parts, you get four quadrants. Two inner, up and down. Two outer, up and down. But the right part is the upper, outer. I stay, as much as possible, I stay away from the inner quadrant while I give intramuscular injection on the buttocks. So what you do is just to clean the place with a wet swab and um, inject at an angle of 90 degrees and aspirate, inject, remove your needle, your syringe, then you discard. But I'm going to make a video, I'm going to be making a video of the practicals on how to do these injections separately, one at a time. I already have one of the videos on my channel already, the remaining three, I promise I'm going to, be, I'm going to make the video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss these videos, okay? So do wait to subscribe to the channel and then turn on the post notification to get notified each time I upload a new video. And if you have any video suggestion you want me to make concerning injection, nursing practice, health and whatsoever, you can drop it on the comment section. And thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!